Hey everybody, welcome back to the Feature Crew. This week, Google has entered the crowded field of AI coding. So uh, we are going to test their entry, Firebase Studio, and see how it stacks up to GitHub Copilot and Cursor and the rest of the gang. We're here in the Firebase Studio UI and we have a prompt entered in. We're basically asking for a Club Penguin style game with our uh, you know, usual comedic twist. And this time we're setting it in New Zealand and the penguins are buying up land for their bunkers. Uh, so we'll send this off and see how it does. Okay, so it, it immediately throws us into this sort of brainstorming planning experience, yeah. uh, and it plans out some features. Now, one thing to note is that uh, this has come up every time I've run yeah. a test today, is that there's always an AI feature. Yeah. It always tries to get some LLM-based feature, and then when you go through implementation, it'll automatically generate you a Gemini API key and start billing your account for this AI feature. Yeah. And the, one of the reasons we picked these this Club Penguin idea is because yeah. it makes no sense to have an yeah. AI feature. Yeah. And so it's really trying to always push in some AI feature, and it's fast. I'll give it to you, it's fast. It's quite fast. I guess. So I think it finished its first iteration, and uh, basically, it, as Jacob said, it almost always has an AI feature and it asks for a Gemini API key. I've seen it pull in Google Maps. Yeah. I've seen it pull in Google Images. Yeah. Like, for it's, no reason. It, this thing is way more, I mean, we're cutting to the chase for a little bit, but it's way more aligned to Google uh, than it is to the end user, which yeah. is bad. That's bad. Yeah. Hey, it actually made a bit of a game here. It's a little Penguin bit better. Like, oh my god. I mean, wait. Okay, this so is... this whole, I mean, the UI is all messed up. Chat, log out. Okay. I mean, this is. Pro <laughs> with the Good dog, dog profile dog picture. picture. None of that is implemented. So everything's a little bit broken. Um, Point and click to move doesn't work. Uh, can we go down and try the AI bunker design? Let's get some recommendations. Oh, there you go. Based on your preferences, I recommend a multi-layered design with reinforced concrete. There's still an issue found, so should we have it? Point and click is broken, please fix. Oh, we, should we do like the avatars are looking weird? Cause that's can you click on South Island? Uh, like the locations don't do anything. Games, location, and movement. I'll tell you, the AI feature always works. It's the only thing I can go for. We're following up to basically say, just make it good. We'll see what it does with a few more iterations. Zoom still uh, <laughs> zooms in and out the entire thing. It just decided it was done? Let's maybe give it one thing of like, can you fix point and click? Maybe it just got confused. It's just very strange that like, it seems to always prototype the same way. It also doesn't give out any, from what we can see, chain of thought or what yes, changed. Yes, that's what I was going to say. It gives you nothing in terms it, it, of like it just, it, explanation. Yeah, just a file change and then that's it. There is isn't... It looks like a refresh. Oh. So we saw this time that the avatar is there. Does it move? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Okay, avatar is... It's just kind of weird that like, um, especially in the chat pane experience, you want there to be explanation. Just right, jumps, coding. It just codes and does something... And then it finishes, and there's no UI affordance for I finished. Like, yep, no. even beyond just explaining what it did, it just, like, silently finishes. And you just have to notice that the... Something changed. There's nothing. There's no easy access to the console. How about something easier? Can it fix the map zoom? Like, map zoom moves map the entire zoom thing. Is so, easy. so I'm just, like, seeing if it, if it even understands, like, what we're doing at all. Like, can you yeah. go to different locations? Like, will any of these UI widgets it makes ever have a use except the the mini chat GPT for talking about bunker design? Yeah, like this is this is like yeah. truly awful, actually. Yeah, I mean, I just it's it's just not doing anything. So let's see, can you go to different locations? Like, like nothing is really making any change. Wait, did you see it move? Did it move? I, I didn't. See wait, it. it's incredibly delayed. Wait, click, pause, wait, wait for it. Is it moving? It definitely moved before. If I go insane, right? Move to the right. It moved literally just a little bit to the right. Can we ask it to? Make yeah, some is... content on the map, so it, it looks like we can see if it's moving around. We're on okay. the subway, boys. We're on the subway for some ungodly reason. It's like I think what you're just saying is so true. Like in the general case, it, it just seems like a very very dumb agent right now. In uh -huh. the sense that it, it does not understand. It has no world context. My characters <laughs> can move now, on its own. On its own, maybe. No, it's when you scroll. It's just. Yeah, this is... And we took, like, 10, 15 iterations or whatever, right? Like, asking things, and just has basically stayed the same. Clearly, Firebase Studio is not good at a Club Penguin-style task, which yeah. is right on the edge of its wheelhouse being web apps and something that's way outside of its wheelhouse, wheelhouse being games. Yeah. 
Now, we both think that if a coding tool can only make one type of thing, it's not very useful. Yeah. Uh, but we're also concerned that Club Penguin is right on the edge, and that's what's causing the failures. Yeah. So we're going to start with something now that we have seen on the channel before. We've seen models, even non-reasoners, be able to one-shot yep. uh, versions of this prompt. So we're going to ask for a, a procedurally generated planet. We're asking for some of our usual features, like the ability to Biome. walk around on the planet, biomes, water, clouds, atmosphere, that kind of stuff. And we're going to see how far this supposedly super-powered AI coding tool, if you check Twitter, can get on this prompt that single models, again, including non-reasoners, can do pretty well at. This is the, I think this is, this is my final test to decide if, yeah. this, if this tool is useful at all. Yeah. And, and we're already waiting for the AI feature. They didn't. This is the yeah, first yeah. time, including versions of this prompt, that I've never seen an AI feature on. Wow. So you can't, we, it seems like we are successfully breaking it out of its, yeah. of its like, web app Google yeah. alignment. So let's start prototyping. Zero percent chance this runs, right? Like, the, if I don't see the right, if I see a planet, yeah. We'll just keep iterating on these errors. Iterating on these errors, get slightly closer each time. From what I've seen here, it looks like a little bit, like I haven't seen any crazy off the correct path imports yet, right? Like I haven't seen like importing Google Maps, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, this is a little bit better. Let's see that inference time scaling scale for us, Gemini. I can't believe that worked. If it loads, there's a planet now. Come back later! Yeah. <laughs> this is the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life! It's Dude, so... <laughs> what do you well, mean, come back later? <laughs> we went, like, ten errors deep. We then said, okay, like, it just kept iterating on one package. We said, don't use it. We used the terminology, you clearly can't handle it. And then it's gone ahead and just whipped out all the things we requested and said, the game is under construction, come back later. And I don't even, it doesn't even have the text to explain to us what the hell it did. Yeah, like, like so again, as we were saying, there's no feedback to the user, so we don't really know what it did. It was clearly trying to use 3JS, so it did it just remove everything and then just put in text. <laughs> it okay. just quit, okay. The game need, needs to, to work. Okay, so we're, we're asking, uh, can it, actually just go ahead and make the game instead. It doesn't, I don't even get to see, it's like... Oh, there we go, there we go. It, it added, it literally added a game back in. I don't know, man. This is already more trouble than it's worth. Oh, right. okay. So Why is it going crazy? It made a spinning ball animation. So all the stuff about biomes and clouds and all that is just kind of disregarded. We're giving it one more prompt to see if it can actually take <laughs> the original spec. So now it's clearly gutting and changing things, so we'll see where it gets to. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. I mean, this I mean, is some okay, progress. Yeah, it's progress, but it's prog not. Is that our character? I mean, but this is something we can, like, iterate on now. I hate how I haven't heard anything from Gemini. <laughs> like, I've heard nothing from this AI. Yeah. That's actually, like, a, 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 an insane oversight. Like, you can't just be like, oh, chat's not great, so we're just not going to... Are we now on the planet? No. What, what is... Are we in the... I am... Unbelievably confused right now. WASD? Does that move us? There's a shader. There's something going on. We cannot move. I'm telling you, this is what I see now, Bozo. That's insane. That's actually insane. It just completely, it changed one thing, the page, and it just. Did it just, did it really just. It just deleted, it deleted everything. everything. It deleted everything. Yeah, yeah okay. I don't even know what to say at this point. At like, this point, at this point, the investigation needs to be like, who were all these people on Twitter saying this thing's incredible? I mean, like, can it do something incredible in domain? Is that what we're missing? Maybe. So maybe, look, maybe we'll post a follow-up or, you know, in the comments, tell us if you've been able to get something useful from this. But it, yeah. we're trying to just test on things that are not within making a specific web app just to see how does it compare to, like, other coding agents at the moment and it's just so typecast it's really confusing and it makes so many errors you kind of need to be technical so really not sure what the uh the point of the release was not a great showing today unfortunately and let us know if you got it to do anything good we're gonna keep vibe coding we're gonna keep making more videos as more of these things come out uh, let us know as always what you want to see in the comments sorry we didn't have anything more exciting for you today we were pretty excited to try this ourselves yeah uh, but uh yeah so far it's seeming pretty limited mm. Unfortunate. Well, thanks so much for following along. Please remember to subscribe. Um, we'll probably do some live streaming soon to actually vibe code, maybe taking the actual Club Penguin idea and fleshing it out because um, that piqued our interest. But yeah, no. So thanks so much, folks. Thanks for watching.